Simo! Yo! We're on the road again and uh, we're currently on our way to stay in a medium sort of uh, range hotel. It's kind of like our last trip when we had all these like uh, different topics on the way to stay in our five star. Well, it ended up being three star, I'd maybe say two, two star. Two star, yeah. Destination. So we're going to do that for the mid range splurge. But today we're going to talk about some stuff on the road. Yeah, we're going to be talking about confrontation, or at least uh, the way people in China are very adverse to conf confrontation. Right. It's it's very important, and it's going to tie into one of our next topics, which is face. Mm. So we're going to start out with this. Let's hit the road. It's bloody hot. Let's get going. So, Simo, I would like to start this out with a story, as I quite often do. Okay. I think the story is fairly recent, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in fact, the story is from last night. Okay. And the night before. Okay. Now, as you know, I live right next to a big shopping mall in Shenzhen. It's called the KK Mall. That's right. Right? And it's a very posh mall. It's an expensive big mall. We spend a lot of time there. Yeah. And in the summer. Well, you know, the, the funny thing is that you and I get into a lot of trouble whenever we try to film there. <laughs> yeah. Like, if we are even just standing on the pavement of the mall... They just know now. They, like, the security guards are almost trained. In fact, they're told, so they, they see you or me just, just pulling out a camera. And right. they'll run over, they'll literally run over and say, we're not allowed to film here. I wonder what they call us. I don't they know. They probably have, like, nicknames. The thing is, there's a reason why I'm talking about this. And it's going to become apparent fairly soon. Anyway, I live just across the street from it. Uh -huh. So literally, if I look up from my balcony, I can see the mall and I can see the road that separates right. the mall and my right. apartment. So let's start on Saturday night. Okay. Yeah. Well, technically Sunday morning. So it's Saturday night, really late. Just, just hit the sack. So it's, you know, midnight. And suddenly I'm awoken by jackhammers, okay? L mm -hmm. Literal jackhammers, like actual, those pneumatic, not pneumatic, those electric ones, but they're, they're jackhammers, okay. Time now. It is Sunday morning, 12.46 a.m. So, like massive sounds and it's coming from downstairs and it's echoing off all the buildings and it's reverberating through my apartment at like uh, half past midnight right so I'm like what the actual hell is this all about so I look out my window and I see on the mall side you know at the KK mall there on yeah. the pavement they're doing some renovation and what's happening is they're just jackhammering up the tile uh -huh. so I'm like this is absolutely insane Right. Because, believe it or not, China actually does have, like, don't disturb the peace laws. They have a lot of laws, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you're not supposed to drink in public, for instance, right. but whatever. Um, and the thing is, there are certain times and you're not allowed to be doing this kind of very noisy construction, right? Right. So, they're, what they're doing is illegal. And it's th what they were doing is they were just doing cosmetic fixes. It's not like they're fixing a burst drain or something that's absolutely necessary. So... I, I waited, I thought, okay, look, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i give them like half an hour, right? Just just give them half an hour. Maybe it's something they're just gonna, but no, it was relentless. They wouldn't stop. So I stormed downstairs with my handy cam. So, you know, I'll pop in some of the footage. Oi, 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 oi. And these guys were completely unapologetic and they were just like what's going on you know and I was like hey listen we are here in the middle of the city it's like almost one o'clock in the morning what the hell are you guys doing and they're like oh we're just fixing this thing I'm like why the hell don't you do it during the day they're like that's ah, not really convenient during the day because um, you know there's lots of people, people walking, walking over yeah. you know I'm like well guess what it's not very convenient for all these hundreds of people maybe thousands of people in all these buildings around Definitely to sleep thousands. <laughs> yeah and you know they can't sleep because of your bullshit and they're like uh well you know our boss told us to do this i'm like well i don't give a crap who told you to do it you're not doing it anymore and then anyway right. long story short they were like oh just give us 10 minutes 10 minutes we'll finish <laughs> so well i'll you know instead of explaining it i'll just show the footage right <laughs> Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 
，十分钟，现在开始，好，我在这里等，你有十分钟。来，搞完，搞完，搞完，搞完。Ten minutes. This guy's got ten minutes. Ten minutes. He's got ten minutes to finish his shit. Okay. Anyway, so they they did stop, and I went back upstairs, and I was like, finally, awesome. Okay, now I can sleep. So I finally drift off to sleep. I don't know, two, two o'clock or something, because I'm a, a light sleeper, and it's difficult for me to get to sleep if I've yeah, been woken up. So I'm busy sleeping. All of a sudden, I'm woken up by the sound of like smashing, right? Like yeah. massive smashing outside my window. I'm like, what the actual hell? And I look. It's 5 a.m. And I look outside my balcony, and in the same spot where they were doing that sort of construction, there's a group of recyclers, and what they've got is they've got all these big wooden crates. Now, obviously, there'd been a delivery to the mall, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. And they'd unpacked the goods, and they left with all these crates. Right. And what you've got is you've got a team of about eight guys, all with crowbars and pipes and stuff, just obliterating the crates, like smashing them up into small pieces so they can cut away the broken wood. Right. Right. But it's fucking 5 a.m. in the morning. Right. All right. And they're incredibly loud. So now I'm really pissed off because I've only got now a couple hours sleep. So right. I run downstairs and I start screaming and shouting at these guys. I've got the footage of that too. Oi! Oi! You did our CD, ma? Shui bu jiao. You said, come on, uh. Now it's 5 a.m. Uh. 5 a.m. 早上五点，你们是干嘛那么吵啊？你们是人吗？ And they're just like, well, whatever. Like, what do you want about, you know? And I'm like, you're not allowed to make all this damn noise, you know, at this time in the morning. You don't know the rules, you know. And okay, people might. Be wondering why I'm complaining about this. I'm complaining th about this because I am the only person that goes to confront these people making a noise, right? Right. There are thousands of people that have been woken up by this noise because there's no way people can sleep through this, right? No. Wow. Well, you never know. We have well, an episode about that. Okay, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know yeah. What you mean. But there are thousands of people, and not a single person will go and confront them. Right. I'm the only one that does it. And anyway, they, they're all thinking the same thing. So. Yeah, they all want them to stop, but. A security guard then walks past and he says to them, because now you can see I'm shouting at them, and the security guard is supposed to be looking after that piece of pavement, the right. one same piece of pavement they come and stop us filming on, but they won't they don't seem to care about people breaking up crates and stuff and making massive noises in the middle of the night. Of well, course not. Um, and he walks past and he says to them, Yeah, you know, you're not you're not supposed to make noise at this time, you can get a fine, you know, the police can fine you or whatever. And I'm like, damn straight they can find you, you know, and if you guys don't bloody stop, I'm gonna call call the cops. I hate and to that's be that's not fine. Yeah, I mean I, I hate to be that guy, but you of know, course, like course. seriously, five o'clock in the morning you're gonna start smashing crates right outside my window. I'll be honest, like it's the lack of sleep that really drives me to I mean I, I would say I'm a much less confrontational person than you. I would I would describe your personality as not someone who likes confrontation, but someone who believes in justice, even over the small things. Yeah. And you're always the guy to like you know, put yourself out there and do it, and that's very admirable. I will admit, I'm not a confrontational person. I usually don't say anything, but it was yeah. not that long ago that they were unloading piles of metal outside of my door at 3 a.m. Oh, you know, after I had already politely told them to stop at 10 p.m., which is already too late. It's past yeah. the law, right? What's the yeah. law? Like six? Six o'clock or something is the law? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, six, six okay. is the law when they're supposed to stop their construction and stuff, yeah. So anyway, I, I politely told them to stop the bow on, the security guard helped me out. Yeah. And I was awoken at 3 a.m. and not only was I awoken, if I was just awoken, maybe I would have like rolled over and sworn at the pillow, like fuck yeah, you, yeah. like shut up. Yeah. But my baby was awoken and you know what it's like to try to get a baby. I, you, maybe you don't know what it's like, no, but I don't. if anyone out there knows what it's like to try to get a baby back to sleep at 3 a.m. It's yeah. not pleasant and you feel incredibly angry because you know it wasn't you just being too loud. It was someone else that shouldn't be being loud. Yeah. And when I went downstairs, I mean, I, was, I wasn't 
I wasn't in the, the right state of mind. I wasn't even wearing a shirt. Right. But, uh, you know, I shouldn't be taking it out. I shouldn't be confronting the guys doing it because their boss told them to do it and they're just these skinny little Citron old men. Yeah. But I, I confronted them. I can't, I don't want to say what I actually did, but like, yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't the correct way to respond to this. And I think what we're trying to get at is actually the cultural value of avoiding confrontation. That's what you introduced in the beginning. Yeah. What uh, we did is not typical of Chinese society. And the reason that a lot of these piss takes happen. A lot of these people are able to push the push the limits and break the laws and do all this bullshit. It's because no one's willing to stick their neck out and, and do anything. About it. Yeah, exactly. Why why else would they like 5 a.m. start smashing up crates and stuff? There's unless, no reason, right? If there no, if there was any yeah. recourse. Because nobody has ever stopped them. That's why. Right. So they could just do what they want. Nobody will ever stop them. That's the thing, and that's the core of this episode is that be because there's no confrontation. People just do whatever the hell they want, you know? Right. Um, anyway, the story doesn't stop there. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, um, they say, okay, fine, we won't make any more noise. As I'm just about to leave, they start making noise again. Oh, my lord. By throwing down, like, bits of wood and stuff. And I come back, and I just ran back. I'm, like, screaming top of my lungs. I didn't get that part on camera, but I'm like, shut the hell up. What the hell? And they're like, what are you complaining about? That's not even that loud. And I... I took are you a, fucking serious? Yeah, seriously. So I took their two, like one of the big two by fours that were, um, you know, broken off. Uh. And I and I just dropped it on the ground. I said, you see that small noise down here? Is a massive noise up there. Do you understand it echoes off the buildings? You they, know? Don't, they don't understand that. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, then they stopped. But you see, this, this is the core of this issue is both of these situations, both of them. I stopped the noise. Right. Okay after i had done confronting these people the noise actually stopped right and then i went back upstairs and i was able to sleep if i had not confronted them the noise would never have stopped they would have continued for hours sure. right 100 percent. until the sun came up right okay and it gets even better because that was on well sunday morning early right mm -hmm. so on Sunday, I went to the security guards of the mall and I said, I said to them, you know, in the evening before, before I, you know, went back home, I said to them, listen guys, you're always letting people make a lot of noise over here. It's your responsibility to make sure they don't make noise. Tonight, don't let them make noise. Right. You know? And they said, okay, sure, uh, we won't, we'll, we'll inform the sort of night shift, etc. And guess what? 1.30 in the morning, there's a guy hammering out the bloody tiles again. Am I surprised? Yeah, so now it's... Turns out it's the same guys that were jackhammering the tiles um, the previous night at 1, 1 in the morning, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry, 1 in the morning. But this time they weren't using a pneumatic uh, sort of, you know, jackhammer. They were just using a, a sledgehammer. Yeah. And they were like, bah, bah, bah. So I ran down there and I'm like... They like they, leveled up and got better weapons. So now they see me and they're like, uh-oh. And I'm like, dude, seriously? You again? What the hell are you doing? They're like, they're like, ah, oh, man, not you again type Whoa. thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, and I was like, this is not cool. And I called over the security guards. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you guys? And then the security guards didn't want to take responsibility. So the guy's like, oh, uh, I need to go to the toilet, you know, um, I can't stay around the security guard, and he, like, ran off. You see, he didn't want the confrontation. Right. And then the guys, I said, give me your boss's phone number, or you call your boss, and you tell your boss to come here. Right. And they're, they're like, ah, and then you can see they're like, they're like, ah, we'll just rather not do it. You right. see? Because now they want to avoid the confrontation with their boss. Of course. So it's all about avoiding confrontation. So they'd rather, you know, do it during the proper hours or whatever right. to avoid confrontation with their boss. Anyway, so I put a stop to it. But now I want to get to the crux of this matter. And the thing that annoys me the most, right, is that when I get, each time that I got woken up, and I get say. woken up, what's going on here? Like, <laughs> each time I got woken up, which was like, say, one, one in the morning. Yeah. And I'm like, oh man, my wife will be like, just go back to sleep. Right. You know, I'm like, I can't go back to sleep because I'm a light sleeper. And if there's hammering or whatever else, I can't sleep. Right. And she's like, yeah, well, there's nothing you can do about it. That's just China. Just leave it. You know, and she starts getting angry with me because I want to go and stop it. You know, right. Actually, I would say this is called Mei Bang Ba culture yeah. or passing the buck. Right. I yeah. actually think that's a whole different topic, Winston. I it, think we can it, it, actually move on. 
Okay, we can, but I just want to finish it off you, by no, saying... No, finish it off well, by all means. I just think that's a huge thing here. Yeah, yeah, the May Bumfell thing. I agree, but this is also the core of this lack of right. confrontation is because they don't want the confrontation, so they'd rather just accept it, you know? Endure. And they'll be like, oh man, well, you know, so my, my wife's getting earplugs and she's taking sleeping pills and stuff. Right. So that she can try and sleep through the noise. I mean, that's, that's just ridiculous. Yeah. Drastic measures by, by yeah. Western logic, right? Yeah. Whereas I'm just, I, I'm like, what the actual hell? If there were more people like me, this wouldn't happen, right? <laughs> right. Because every time I do go down and confront them, it stops. And again, though, this is not a criticism of culture. What this is, is how China's ran yeah. forever. Yeah. It's literally since its inception, yeah. people have put up and endured with things that they find unpleasant rather than putting an end to them. And yeah. it's, it's in politics, it's in daily life, it's in everything. Food scandals, it all comes down to this. Yeah. So that's it, really. I mean, sorry for this one. It's pretty rant-filled, but man, I no, haven't I, had sleep. I, I think it's very important. I really do think it's a great segue into Mei Banfa. Yeah, excellent. Which we'll, we'll talk about in the next one. Yeah, so have you got anything you'd like to say to our subscribers before we sign off? Whether you like peace and quiet, and you like to snooze off and dream of fluffy sheep, or you like the sound of jackhammers, wood dropping, and uh, people, you know, having foreigners scream at you because you're making a lot of noise. Yeah. I implore you to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, and whether or not you're a, a human being who actually has compassion and understanding of other human beings, or just a selfish little piece of crap, we love you all the same. So, <laughs> until, until next time, guys, you know the drill. Stay awesome.